You are not two, but you are one. One in the body. One in the spirit. And one in the soul. So a husband and wife, you can never be two. If you become two, you are fallen already. That marriage can't work if you are two. Because the design of God is that when a man and a woman get married to each other, the two become one. It is that oneness that will make a difference. No man can come to that place of oneness and treat a wife as a second class. You cannot start getting a, either a knife or a panga, start cutting or, or beating your, your leg or beating your arm. You start cutting or beating your arm. Because your leg is part of you, so you are one, it's part of the body. I'm not telling you to keep quiet. If the Holy Ghost has convicted us, fine. If you are separating a vitanda. You separate beds. And you are married. Can you give a fumb? Now, Unquateo? Should I touch there? <laughs> you are not supposed to separate beds. If you've separated beds, you have divorced already. Are you with me? You are creating a fake picture, but in the actual sense, the two of you have been already separated. The devil, the devil enters you. And you go to another room. You have broken your marriage. You have already entered into a divorce. In Malachi, the Bible says, God hates what? Hello? Mugarukeyo. Go back. Omaka Mugaruka Pitanda Biyanyo. In your homes and you go back to your bedrooms. The Bible says in Hebrews. A marriage bed should be what? Honorable. A Josavis conference, Yahweh may have a chara, Yom Kazwe, Garko, Msija, Wawem, Standard Chimwe, can Yom Sija Garkirum Kazuao, Nimabam Pritchin is and Pelza of Radio, and those of you are watching me by various platforms. Musteram Naman Mtastera Munenuku. There is no scripture that justifies that action. That if you have this understanding, one should separate the bed and another one separate the bed and another one go in another room and another one go in another room. Are you listening to me? You are hearing me? One I'm on I hang on there, there. 
Let me tell you. One body. One spirit. One soul. One bed. One house. <laughs> In that manner, the glory of God is going to manifest and the blessing of God is going to come upon your lives because two are better than one. Solomon writing it in the book of Ecclesiastes, how can one be alone alone? Kandi surumani omuchitabo chomburi za kahandika ya jirati omwe akaba sata kutagata wenka. Hello? Iwe. How can one be warm alone? Omwe akaba sata kutagati kwa wenka. Imabata rukwenda awa kusire and you are just there. If you will never get home, don't blame anybody. Hello? Am I okay with us? If two lie down together. Hello? Anyway. together married officially wedded in the church. Are you hearing me? Never ha, uh, Bishop Yagambira, how can one be a woman or Kashohora? Bishop said that to me. Don't say Bishop Erizova Yagamba one cannot be alone or Katanka taken some Kazuwa or Miss Chuaba and the TV. Am I talking to you? These days, girls have become sharp. He can tie herself on a man. Should I touch there also? She can tie herself on a boy, on a, on a man, even when the man's heart is not on her. And you man, if you marry under pressure, don't blame me that I never taught you well. That I don't marry under pressure. Marriage should not be entered into hastily or unadvisedly. You carefully consider. You judge. You consider again. What take because the day you seal that covenant with a ring, it is no longer in your power to walk away. You have entered in a prison. And they never forced you. So don't come to us. I want to move on. I have decided to move on. I can no longer understand her. Who took you there? Oh, have found a good thing. Are you not the one who came and found me in the office? Oh, can't you not that him in the and you made us to spend all the time here that we are waiting uh, and you are coming here and all these girls are marching and uh, are you hearing me? Has this over Moka to let her at what you want to do in Zere, Wamarokisha, no Tambrampora, and Pora, or with Kulin, the Goriano Zaku Gate. You have decided like that, bear it. Kora, there was a Zeremo, so what you could miss it is. Hello? 
Iwe. Hmm? Yeah, the, even even people's contribution. Hmm? <laughs> Are you hearing this version? <laughs> no, read, read. That you who are trying to, to divorce first collect all the money, give back at people who supported your marriage. You Hello? We are building families and marriage in the women's conference. Because the women understand that this is the secret of success in any life. Let me tell us. The day a marriage breaks. Everything starts to go down. Am I talking to you? Everything, I'm not saying some things. Your own confidence goes down. When you look at people who start to, to If hide you are in the church, you leave the church. Business begin to collapse. Relationships that were very cherishable in your life begin to break. Some people who honored you and respected you as a responsible person, they distance themselves away from you. And they start regretting, like some people have said, for their money they spent in you. Before you reach at the time of wedding, you first consider, calculate, play, go back in the presence of God, you pray, ask for the sign, go back and pray before you come to be wedded. I, I dreamed that I was in a white gown wedding with you. You are a liar and the spirit of deception has filled your heart. This so far is your own business. Be strong. And you and be firm. Be strong. And and be firm. Say, I'm going to go back and pray and inquire from the Lord. If this is true, He will show it to me. Don't fall Take in the trap. To my scripture. Yes, I'm telling you, I'm a man. for Jesus. <laughs> Find the right to. He who finds a wife, finds a what? And what happens on them? Yes, I'm telling you, I'm about to end the favor. You know the truth. She's intelligent. 
a, a virtuous woman is very wise, very intelligent. She has a high level of IQ. She, she's very logical. She has a, a right judgment. She doesn't fall in the of things because somebody has said. Huh. Her IQ is sharp. Her IQ is sharp. Her IQ is sharp. Her IQ is sharp. She first goes and prays over it. When she gets peace in her heart, she now moves with confidence. And that intelligence is needed not only in finding a partner, in all things every day of our lives to judge have the ability of judgment even on the words before you speak them she carefully chooses her words she carefully chooses her friends. She carefully chooses her trade. She is intelligent. She makes right choices at the right time. She understands that decisions are very critical and very important. That one decision can build you or one decision can destroy you within no time. She cannot be led like a sheep. Mm -hmm. She's very judgmental and intelligent. And the Bible says, who is he, that man who can find her? Who is he, that man, who can find her? Pastor Timothy, are you hearing me? Are <laughs> Praise has gone, that's why I turned to him. Praise the way I Who is he? No hogwe. Who can find her? Oh, Akubasa Kuzorom Kazuomitim. Her value is more precious than jewels and her worth is above rubies or pearls. She That's why I said you can never exchange your marriage for material stuff. I went to America, Europe, and many countries. I found so many men of God there. They left here to preach. Got stuck in America or Europe. They cannot come back. At home, their women have produced a second child today. They are in America. They have married other women. The whole thing is just a mess. They, it started on a good note, looking for Cheyo, and it has turned to broken family and broken marriage. Sustain your homes. Sustain your marriage. Keep the purity. Muryebiche kwonka together and happy and growing. When time comes of promotion, surely God is going to elevate you. It's only a matter of time. The devil is a liar. Tani no mnyabi shuba, obu na kubgaika, ruhangana akuyimusa, akukoreje, mudgeviche, konkamuri hamwe, mudgeomu businje, kathomu mahangaga heru, oshangayo mshisha, akathayo jire kutirechi ya akora, kuya itireo hapge shonga yesente, ya agumayo, ya taithayo nisho mkazi, ya azarire ya wana, na kuno mkazo uya azijire, ariyona azara, arikunu, evi ntutgona, bihimri chiraka taba anguko. Some are sad, 
it's not my problem. I'm only teaching you the truth. Because It's only a matter of time. God will bless every faithful married people. It's only a matter of time I can tell you. I have seen people that even entered married with no bed. Today they are wealthy. I've seen people who did not have shoes when they were marrying. But they have been faithful to God and faithful to each other. Today they are driving expensive vehicles, they are living in good houses. Be faithful. Keep your covenant. Don't break the covenant. God is not delighted in fools. Because fools do not keep the vows. Give Jesus a mighty hand clap. Now, by this time, you must see, know who is a fool and who is wise. A wise woman and a wise man, they honor the covenant of marriage. There should be nothing. Absolutely nothing to cause a separation. Whom God has joined together. Let no man separate. Let nothing separate. Even money should not separate. Even the lack of it should not separate. There are some people when they get married and the children don't come they become hostile to each other. You are not God's to manufacture children. But be faithful. Because I've seen people even at 15 years getting children. I've seen others when children delay to come. A woman blames a man and she starts going looking for some man to pregnant them. And then comes and says, This pregnancy is yours. Now I have seen men become dubious. As if she's God. She has never been in the place of God. And I tell you there are some cases where the women are blaming the man and yet the problem is in the man and the man is blaming a woman and the problem is in him. And have a seizure, they are very low sperm count. They don't produce. And they think it is the wife who has a problem. Don't change from that topic. Give me my word. Are you with me? Are you with me?
when you enter covenant you vow in all circumstances you shall be faithful to each other are you with me in, in all circumstances praise God if, if God blesses you with a gift of children praise you still praise him I have my daughter and I cherish her very much she, they didn't get the, the children but they have adopted three children now and they love each other. Mama knows. I respect them for that because very few people who have such a, an affected love without children but bringing, adopting children and making happy homes. By the way, they are very happy to each other. They are together. They are always in love and yet they didn't get biological children. They have only adopted today. When things became hard, they went for checkup, and the problem was actually found with a man and not with a woman. And But even then, the wife assured the husband, you are the love of my life. And I have seen there is no strife in their home, in their marriage. The children they have adopted, they love them more than many people with biological children. And they are showing If you remain faithful, surely God will bless you in due time. The heart of a husband trusts in her with secure confidence. Yesterday I talked on the point of, mis of mistrust. Every time there is an element of mistrust, love flows out. It's like you have put a hole that drains love out. The spirit of mistrust of each other is deadly. I said yesterday where there is mistrust, even bad relationship is killed. And when the bad relationship dies, the relationship dies. I said yesterday, a thing that caused mistrust in a marriage. In the area of faithfulness to each other. 
infidelity and faithfulness sexually is dangerous oksanga atarobethwa omutera na icho ni chakabi and it affects both sides kande icho ni chibateganisa mwembi if a man thinks his wife is paying attention to somebody even if you didn't have sexual intercourse with a man but you paid attention to a man that is not your husband it is cheating it's no, unfaithfulness no, it's no, immoral no kora tikonko mushiza akasanga ngo mukaziwe na to mutima akulebera rondi zo mushiza otariva akamufaho eto kane nacho nitireto buzivu omushiza takugaruka kwesiga and it works on the other side also kane nicho chimwe no rubazo rundi did you ever say wa rite na gamba I said yesterday kureba undi omushiza omushiza wawe yakureba orkwemorera ha mushizo ndi my friend you are going to have difficulties atubwe ni bikugomira but why do you give the devil a chance konka kandi we chituma wahereza sitano mwanya niki are you with me ari nanye You are not supposed to give that devil a chance. Don't put a man in that fragile position and you man don't put a woman in that fragile position. Hatto shemereye kuhereza stano mwanya ukakwato ndijo mushija ukamuteko mwanya gwo mushija wawe ninga wawe gwo mukazi ukawawe gwo mushija ukakwato mukazi ukamuteko mwanya gushemerere kubagurimu omukazi wawe. You see many people think Abantu bije nibateka teka I did not have the act but i only i talk with how i talk with him why are you all the time no, talking with her and talking with him ojiroti asa nyona ngwa tinyine ne chindi ho tinyine ne chichendere kwa nimba ndi kugamba na wokusha ni tuba turi kweganirira kusha habwe nje chocho no chikora okagamba na woko kwa ri kugamba na wokwe okaganira na woso are you with me ori nanye You see what you must understand that the moment you get married your behavior must change. Eto shemerere kwetegereza no kumanya ngu washwe kwaninga watasa emitwe yawe no ko kwetwaza bine kuhinduka. If you are a woman and you spend more time with other men even if you have not acted the commit acted or fallen in the exact thing but you are too close you are giving the devil a chance and in the spirit you are creating soul ties which are going to put you in a bondage and affect a relationship korabe odgo mukazi oriyo no yombe ko muzare bawe nabandi bashisha no bretera kuhama oriyo no ete ko mukatego kandi no isha kusanga wakwati gweyo ndete Are you with me? When Nani. you get married my friend you cannot behave like a single boy and a single girl anymore. Kori kumara kutasa ninga kuswegwa emitwe yawe hinduka nobota chetwaza nko musigazi kandi nobota chetwaza nko mushota kashwigwe. When I got married to my wife. I told her. My wife is very social person. She makes a lot of friends. And so she When we got married, kutata sine She would go with her old friends at the university girls. So I was walking when I come she, she's not there. She says, oh I was with Eunice my friend you know we we were together with Eunice and they are very close with Eunice. I said hello you are now my wife you got married you are no longer single. 
Hati izo barimwe kunarugira umurimo nshango muka atari Bona the days when you were going with those girls in parties to spend time that is different now Kuna ichiro muka akatari mu mujiranto birojire ati nabandi na unity tujyo kwe mutayayire na mujirantiwe hato ryo mucara wanje to kiri muhuru hato shwigwe ebiro byo kugenda nabishiki mukatayaya ninga mukazo mumbaga aho mwakunda no mumwayenda biwireho when the day you wait here is the day you change your lifestyle and your former behaviors. You are no longer of yourself. You cannot make put your life in your own control. Your body now belongs to your husband. And the body of the husband belongs to the wife. Say big amen. Are you with me? Three I said yesterday, in a man there is an element of godliness in him. So God is a jealous God. And God, Christ, is the head of every man. And so man in him is wired with the element of jealousy. He cannot contain certain behavior you used to have. Men hati inje zire ntiru hanga Hine oku ya hanjire omuntu Kando mshija niwe omutwe ogomu kazi Kando mshija nuhanga katekabu Wakati inoku ya muhanjire ya muteka mechiru ungo Echoku jirangu wafuye ni chituro muriwe Wata andika ukora nketiku Na wata kubasa kugu misiriza The other aspect that can cause I said yesterday and faithfulness Is the area of money you must manage your money together. When you get married, you no longer manage your own money, hiding out, making your own plans, and she's making her own plans. It does not work like that. Budget together. Plan together. Set priorities together. Am I talking to us? Don't say it is my money, I'm the one who worked it. I know. It is no longer your money now, it's, it's for both of you. Am I talking to you? Whoever has earned, it is for both of you. Plan for it. Pray for your plans together. Set priorities together. Don't hide information from each other. Am I talking to us? I'm about to conclude, but this is very important. To be safe, open one bank account. In your both names. Am I talking to you? When I would go to the bank, people said, Bishop comes and puts money on the bank, Mama comes and withdraws it. The bank's people know that. So they say, for you, your part is to, to deposit, our part is to withdraw. Am I talking to you? If you buy things like lands, own them together in your both names. Am I talking to you? When one of you passes on, that's when you can understand and remember my message. I have seen a man buys lands in his own name 
when he passes on the family come and take everything the woman and the children thank you bishop you are supporting her with a hand up and she's a woman of God and she understands what I'm talking about the family people don't care they said this one is our son these are our things but your wife of the covenant your wife of the youth your wife whom you labored with who accepted you when you didn't have anything who had sleepless nights because of the debts you are enduring and you leave her under pressure. You leave her under burdens. And your children are left to suffer. All the things both of you. You see my wife now there is nothing that I own without her. It's you. And sometimes even her name comes number one, it doesn't affect me. Whether my name comes first, whether her house comes first, it doesn't make a difference. In that way, even God will know that the resources he has given you, they're going to be well protected and serve the purposes for which he has blessed both of you. And you attract more favor from God to bless both of you. Never get tempted to put things in your single name. Most relatives don't like women. They don't like our women. Others like them in hypocrisy. The moment the man is not there, they want her out. It is your responsibility to protect her when you are present and even when you are not present in Jesus' mighty name. And she's well protected and preserved. Leave her with documents as Ganadian Zikwet. Mashi Katala Babashan, the Lele Bosha Katala Bachanda, stand up to the Saha, Abukona Tamu Virebabachara. I'll come back. I'll come back another time when the women invite me. Abachara Kubarka Kunyata and Abuendi. A lot of this, I have not still aligned it well. I have not gone so deep, but we shall create another women's conference, I believe. Give a mighty hand clap to Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Lift your hands to the Lord and talk to him by the word that he has spoken into your life. And if you are married, pray for your marriage. To be a happy marriage, to be a blessed marriage. If you are a husband, pray for yourself, pray for your wife. And a wife, pray for your husband. And if your parents pray for your children, just pray for your home, pray for your family. The Lord to take preeminence in your lives. Lift your voice and talk to God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, speak to the Lord, speak to the Lord, speak to Jesus about yourself. Talk to him about 
it's a mistake. You need to correct it by repentance. You need to turn away from it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Talk to God about your life. Talk to God about your partner. Pray for your partner. Pray for togetherness. Pray for oneness. Pray for, for a covenant. Pray for a stronger bond between the both of you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are not married, still pray for your future marriage. Pray for your husband. If you are not yet married, the Lord to give you a right partner, a right husband. And if you are a girl, God to give you a right man, to give you a right husband. And if you are a boy, pray for God to bring a right girl, a right partner, a right marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Family is the stronger unit of the society. Family is the number one choice of God. God established the family before he established the church, before he established the nation. So the first thing is how stronger your family is, how stronger your marriage is, how stronger your relationship is, how stronger you are able to be faithful, to keep a covenant of your marriage in a stronger bond of love and unity and purpose in the name of Jesus. Pray that God will honor your family, honor your husband, honor your wife and honor your children in the name of Jesus. Now you are praying for your marriage. You are praying for your marriage to be a happy marriage. Your marriage to be stronger. Your marriage to be blessed of God. Your marriage to be honorable and the paid to remain unfailed. Pray that your marriage be honorable. Your marriage be honorable and yet the bed remaining pure. The bed of marriage to remain undefiled. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray that as you go on in your marriage, the Lord will guide you. The Lord will lead you in the name of Jesus to keep honor and submission and respect your husband. And if you are a man, pray God to give you grace to love, respect and support your wife. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray for the wisdom of God in your marriage, in your relationship. In the name of Jesus, everybody pray for the marriage. Even those of you are not married, don't say I'm not yet married. They are talking about the marriage because tomorrow or next year or two years from today, God might give you a family. So pray for it now. This is the time to pray for your future. When you pray, you create a destiny. When you pray, you pray, you create a future in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Our Father, we thank and we give you praise. We want to bless you for blessing us with the gift of marriages, with the gift of families. I pray for every family that is represented here, even the families of those watching us on the various platforms and the social media. I pray for the families of the people who are here to be stronger in the name of Jesus. I pray for the husbands to love their wives, my Father, according to your word. Every husband, let them love their wives from today. Let them treat their wives with honor in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said in your word, the woman is the glory of man, and man is the glory of God. So I pray, my Father, every woman will respect a husband, and every husband will know their wives, their woman is their glory. When the woman is not well, when the woman is not dignified, the glory of man is defiled. The glory of man is polluted. So we pray in the name of Jesus that every man in this room, Lord, and those who are watching us, Father, will remember that a woman is the glory of a man. The glory of a man depends on how dignified their wives are, how dignified their marriage is, how dignified their spouse is, how dignified, how glorified their wives are. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, that you establish a stronger covenant relationship and the covenants of marriage to be established to be stronger in the name of Jesus. I pray against spirits of anti-marriage. I pray against divorce spirits. I pray against spirits of separation. I come against anti-marriage demons. I come against every anti-marriage spirit in the name of Jesus. Demons that have been assigned to destroy homes and marriages through immorality, through adultery, through infidelity, through unfaithfulness. I arrest them now in the name of Jesus. All demons that are working through those who are messengers, all demons that are sent to to weaken men, to weaken husbands. I destroy every seductive spirit, seducing spirit. I bind 
want to destroy that have been released against families. I destroy demons of lust of the flesh. I destroy passions of the flesh. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for spirituality in the name of Jesus. I pray every woman that is married will be spiritual, will be virtuous, will be excellent, will be intelligent, will have godly capabilities and godly strength in the name of Jesus Christ. My secretary produce the book of Sikata. My hand is the book of Sikori or the book of Bless every family here, Lord. Bless every represented couple here. Bless them in the name of Jesus. I pray for the singles who are not yet married. Father, they will guard their chastity. They shall keep their purity until the day of their marriage. They will walk the covenant of divine purity in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not defile themselves with fornication, with adultery. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for single mothers. I pray that you give them capacity to stand to look after the children, praise them well. I pray in the name of Jesus for single girls and single mothers. The grace of God will abound into their lives. The grace of God will be multiplied and supplied in the name of Jesus. I ask you to bless every single girl in this church. Every unmarried girl. Father, keep them in purity. Keep them in the chest of good conduct and good behavior. Let them maintain their inner beauty, their internal beauty. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I cover them by the blood of Jesus. I pray, my Father, what will bring a right pattern is not their physical and external appearances, but their internal beauty. In the name of Jesus, so let them invest now. Right conduct, right character. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that in the due time, my Father, you shall bless this single girl and these ministers and these single ladies with a godly spouse, with the right man, with the right husbands, my father, and you in equally, my father. You bless the young men with the godly wives, my father, with the godly fearing women in the name of Jesus. I pray for the ministers, of father, who are longer offered you. They are failed to know whom to marry. They are failed to make right choices. I pray for them today. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Oh, I know time has gone, but I feel the Holy Ghost is leading me. We are going to pray for these two prayer items. Number one, I ask every married couple come on the altar. The devil is a liar. He works to destroy families. They are spirits called anti marriage spirits. That devil works to release anti marriage spirits so that your marriage breaks. And sometimes there are girls, demons enter them. They begin to seduce men who are married. It's called seducing spirit. Seducing spirit. The work of a seducing spirit is to bring the marriage down. There are other spirits called the Jezebel spirit. The Jezebel spirit its work is to bring every godly happy marriage down. So some people carry Jezebel spirits and they are, the, the demons of those spirits in the girls, in the women. But there are even some men that carry this, uh, that spirit. The Jezebel spirit. And that spirit is to bring powerful marriages down powerful men to come down. If you are not strong, the devil will release high ascended spirit slowly but sure until they capture one of you. And we want to break those spirits. Other spirits are those seducing and lustful spirits. 
And when people receive that lustful spirit, they cannot settle. They cannot settle. The lust drives them. He leaves a wife but is after another girl. But in the actual sense, the man is captured by a spirit that is aiming at destroying the family, destroying the marriage. The devil hates stronger families that are Christian families. Because a stronger family destroys Satan and his system. Stronger family raise up godly seed. Godly offspring. And they destroy the works of Satan. You see, if you understand the story of Samuel, the way he came, Hannah was barren. Because the devil did not want Hannah to bring out a prophet. And and the spirit of barrenness loomed around her. And even those spirits, we want also to break them. For those who are married and they cannot get children. And we declare by the grace of God wombs to open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God has the capacity to create eggs and create sperms in a man and eggs in a woman. But we also pray against demons of poverty and scarcity. Curses. A lot of antagonism and conflict based on lack and financial strife. Those are spirits the devil keep releasing to people who are married so that they are always fighting and in conflict and not happy with each other. Lift up those holy hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I present these married couples here. I pray, Father, Always you hear me. I stand on this new altar. I invoke your grace to fall on everybody. Your anointing to be released. And your blessing to come on every married person in this place. I pray in the name of Jesus. Your grace to be multiplied. And Holy Spirit. I ask you now in the name of Jesus invade every family in this place begin to work a work in these families in the name of Jesus Christ by your power and by your revelation as you have guided me I take authority in the mighty name of Jesus to break every anti-marriage spirit I destroy every anti-marriage spirit demons of anger demons of wrath I destroy them spirits of quarrelsome Conflict and disagreement. I destroy them. Spirits of misunderstanding and confusion. I destroy you from this couple. I break your grip from the men and from the women. I cast you out from this people. I bring you out. Go and come you no more. I destroy your grip. I break your hold. You demons of anger. Come out now. Lose his people. Every anger, every bitterness, every unforgiving spirit. I destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demon of confusion and misunderstanding. Be broken, be broken. Be destroyed from their lives. In the name of Jesus. Every anti marriage spirit, demon that are sent, seducing spirits, and demons of Jezebel are saying that would break marriage. 
marriages in the name of Jesus through immoral action, through immorality, through lust of the flesh. I bind you. I cast you from the men. I cast you from the women of God. I drive you out from their lives. I command you go and never return. You have no room here. You have no legal right here. I stand in the name of Jesus. I cover these couples with the blood of Jesus. I release an anointing of the Lord to break every yoke, to destroy every creeper, to break you for covenant. In the name of Jesus Christ, every wrong covenant, every soul tie, every demon of soul tie, with the relationship of the past, that they had, I disengage them from them in the name of Jesus. And I break spirit's husband, spirit husband, spiritual husband, and spiritual wives. You demon of spirit husband, my spirit wives, I conquer you now. I drive you out. Go, 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 go. Come out. Sora. Come out. Sora. Come out. Sora. Come out. Sora. You demon of spirit husband. I cast you out. I command you to go. Demon of spirit husband. Go. Sora. Every woman here. That you get those evil dreams. Spirit sleeping on you. I cast you out. Go. 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 Come out. Go. Lisa. 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 In the name of Jesus. Carry her from there. Take her that side. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Even that woman. Come here. Bring this woman here. Help this woman come out. In the name of Jesus. Come here quickly. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. I take authority. You evil for power. Man, I man. command you now. Come out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go, go. Come out. Lose her. Lose her. Come out. Come out. Go, 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 go. Sora, 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 Sora. Go. 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 Leave her. Leave her marriage. Leave her family. Leave her marriage. Leave her family. Leave her marriage. Today, the fire of God is against you. The power of Holy Ghost is against you. Come out. Go. 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 Lisa. Come out. Mrekure. 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 Mrekura. Mrekura. You spirit husband, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Lisa. Lisa. Sohora. 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 Go. Go now. Never return. Sohora Jen. Bataka Tura In the name of Jesus. My God. Father, I cast the spiritual husband. I break every connection. I lose her. In Jesus' name, lift your hands. Every spirit husband, your time is over now. Your time is over now. Your time is over now. I cast you out by the word of God. I tell you out by the word of God. Go! Never return. Never come again. In the name of Jesus, I disconnect you. I disengage you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every disagreement. Every disagreement. Spirits of disagreement. I command you go. I never return. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out. In the name of Jesus. Disagreements. Unhealthy disagreements. Too much anger. Too much wrath. I tell you how to break your grip from the married people. Never return. You demon of anger. Every spirit of anger now. The fire of God is against you. The fire of God is against you. The fire of God is against you. In the name of Jesus. Bring this lady behind. I see a spirit of anger. Come out, take her. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out. Lose her. Lose her. You spirit of anger. Today. I rebuke you today. I drive you out of her today. I cast you out. Come on! Go! 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 Lose her life. Come out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out! Come out! Come out! Lose her. Lose her marriage. Lose her future. Lose her life. In the name of Jesus. 
take authority in the name of Jesus. I break every barrenness. Spirit of barrenness. I destroy you. I rebuke you now. I command you, get out! Every spirit of barrenness, I cast you out. I cast you out. Go! Go! Everyone you have held in captivity, I lose your hold. I break your power from their eyes. In the name of Jesus, every demon of barrenness, lose and go. Lose and go. Lose and go. Your time is over. Your time is over. Your time is over. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Devil, come out in the name of Jesus. Go and never return. Your power is removed now. You are disengaged and disconnected in the name of Jesus. Every immoral spirit, every immoral spirit on women and on men, I drive you out from this people. I cast you out. Every immoral spirit in the name of Jesus. Every immorality in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every time you, ask, you, you feel you have you are in a sexual relationship with a person who is not your husband. It is a spirit. It's an immoral spirit. It's an evil spirit. It's a Jezebel spirit. I rebuke it out of you now. I command that spirit to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I break the effect of such a dreams on you of your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every evil power that enters in the covenant through dreams and through night visions. I disconnect it off your life. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy happiness in the marriage. I prophesy long life, long marriages. I prophesy peace and happy marriages from today. They will enjoy their couples. They will enjoy their marriage from today. And I pray for supernatural provision. I pray for a blessing which bring, makes a man rich and adds no sorrow to come upon every married person. I bless them with your blessing. I send them to build and establish happy marriages, successful marriages, great homes and families, and raise up godly seed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pronounce blessedness and prosperity. By next year, everyone will come back here, Lord, with powerful testimonies because of your goodness, because of your faithfulness, because of your covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless each couple in the name of Jesus Christ. And I send you to be fruitful and to be profitable in Jesus' name. God bless you. Go back quickly in Jesus' name. Go back quickly and in a few minutes I want to pray for single sisters that are due for marriage and are not married. Any people in that area believing for marriage, just come here in the name of Jesus. Run quickly to the altar. The single boys and girls come quickly on this altar. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release you today from every bondage of anti marriage spirit. I release you today from every bondage of anti marriage curse. I deliver you today from the yoke and the spirit of anti marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remove her. In the name of Jesus, take her from here. This is a symbol. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I pray from this moment. That your curse shall be broken of you. The bondage shall be broken of you. A spirit that keeps causing you enter relationship. And then it, you break it before a marriage before it becomes a reality somebody gives up 
Before marriage happens, the something breaks. It's an anti-marriage spirit. And some of those curses must be broken today. In the power of the name of Jesus Christ. That curse must be broken. In the power of the name of Jesus Christ. In the power of the name of Jesus Christ. That yoke must be broken. The Lord said it's not good that man should live alone. It's not good that a man should live alone. But a man have a comparable help. That is the will of God. You were Timothy, what are you waiting there? Do you want to marry or not to marry? that you enter liberty to find a helpmet a comparable helpmet I also know people who used to pretend in the heart they want to get married but when you talk to them therefore those things for me they are not for now I have seen them confine themselves at that space because They don't realize that something that has kept them undecided, something that makes them stay like that, is a spirit also. And that must be broken off you. There are some people here due for marriage and you are still there. You are from this day by the revelation of God's word in the revelation of the Holy Spirit by the leading of the Holy Spirit every anti-marriage spirit every spirit of denial and delay I break from your life. Every spirit of rejection, I cut it off from your life. Demons of rejection, I destroy it off from your life. In the name of Jesus, every anti marriage evil's power, I break you off from these people. In the mighty name of Jesus, standing in the presence. Of God upon this altar, I break every spirit of stagnation, hindrance to entering marriage, delays and denials. I break it off from their lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, He says He finds a wife, He finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Give them grace to find a good wife, to find a good husband, 
to find a good thing. A husband is a good thing. A wife is a good thing. So I release them on this anointing. I release them on this word. I release their destinies. I release their holy marriage covenants. I bless them to be blessed with holy marriage. With matrimonial blessing. With matrimonial marriages. With holy marriage covenants. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today I decree and I declare. In the name of Jesus. Everyone according to your desire. And to your wisdom. Today I release them, O oh Father, into the liberty of holy marriage covenants. I release them to find a helpmate, a comparable helpmate. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray on a day like this, we will be somewhere. We shall be somewhere celebrating the marriages and the wedding of his people. And it shall come to pass that God answered their prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall come to pass that the Lord God answered their prayer and he granted them grace and he gave them favor and they found a right partner, a godly partner in the name of Jesus Christ. I break chains of aunt marriage and every aunt marriage curse. I declare it's broken. Every inherited curse from their families. I break them off from them. Every misfortune and cloud of darkness coming from their background. I declare it's now shattered and destroyed. In the name of Jesus from Nazareth, I release all of them to enter into the blessedness of the Holy Marriage Covenant. And I pronounce on them surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you shall dwell in the house of God now and forever in Jesus name the Lord go with you and be, be with you until the perfect day in Jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of Jesus Christ Come on, yes, I see me.